Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. Have you ever needed to take a MySQL database and turn it into ER diagrams or turn it into some sort of visual representation that you can bring to a meeting at work or you can use to show a colleague or maybe you just want to visualize it for your own mental, uh, you know, personal whatever reasons. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with ChatGPT. Uh, what this feature in my opinion is absolutely amazing uh, most people don't know about it but I'm gonna tell you about it here watch this video through the end hit the like button hit the subscribe button don't skip around please I'm begging you watch it all the way through the end so the first step is we're gonna go over to MySQL workbench and we're gonna go to something called data export which is under server data export and then we go over to object selection and we select the schema we want to export from which is right here where I'm hovering and then we select the uh, the schema objects, the tables that we want to export. We make sure that dump structure only is, is selected. We make sure we know where they're dumping to, which in this case is this is this path. Uh, export all to, all to a self-contained file. We click start export. We open up our finder. We press Control V, or we will first we press Command Shift G, which opens up that dialog box, right? Command Shift G, and then we go to the lo location. We right-click on the MySQL dump. We open it in our favorite text editor, and now we have all this beautiful data about what the what the database looks like. From there, we go to uh, Chat GPT. We say, can you draw me ER diagrams based on this data stru database structure? You paste in all of your data. You see this here. This just matches up with this. Obviously, see here my the version, the database machine, etc., etc. You know, vending machine four. And here's what it gives you: the actual visual representation of your database as an ER diagram. If you want to see that happen in real time, let me just uh, copy this here. We'll do a new chat. Oops, we'll do a new chat. Oops, see here's a problem. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of different times. But anyway, this is what it should give you, is this visual representation. So if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button. Feel free to try it on your own. If it doesn't immediately give you the drawing, you know, you might say, don't use Imager. Oh, it says. Maybe not that even. We might have to go back. Maybe we don't say, can you draw, can you create a visual representation of Don't use external images. Well, if you ask it the right way, it ought to give you this. So, hit the like. <laughs> ChatGPT is just kind of funny that way sometimes. Uh, what is that? What is that Lua? See that Lua? Maybe we can ask it in a different way. In maybe we maybe hold on. Maybe if we ask it to to say give it to me in Lua. Hmm. Maybe we can say display it in a code editor.
Nope. You just gotta keep trying. But thanks for watching anyway. See you later.